go on trips like that. You have to live. Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Shukri guys, another proper shave. Shukri, Shukri. I'll see you soon. Thank you. What up, everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling new great. Oh, new store. No new, new store. Spa. Oh, a spa. Yeah, it's spa center. Assalamu alaikum. Cool. What, what are they gonna offer? Like uh, massages yes. and uh, hot Just tubs. Full body massage. Full body massage. Yes. Very cool. Yes. All right. What's gonna be the name? Hess. H S S. H S S. Yes. Okay. You have to visit. I will. Send me a message. Assalamu alaikum. Can, can we come in and see the new spa? Yeah. Abkanam Kiahe? My name is Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, YouTuber. Yeah. So, no, oh, you know. Yes. Oh, shukriya. Is, th is this your is this your new new place? Yes. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Very cool. That that's the massage table. Yes. This side and this side and this two uh, back sides. Oh, all right. Very cool. Well, I wish you the best of luck, inshallah. Yes. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to come back in a couple days or whenever you're open and, uh, and check it out. Uh, okay. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. What? Allah la fiz. A la fiz, a la fiz. <laughs> what up, everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. Just had to go see my boys at Razors and Scissors, get a fresh beard trim. Usually stop in there about every three oh, weeks uh, to get fresh. But today, uh, we're getting messy. We're getting saucy, and so I gotta make sure the beard is uh, trimmed so a lot, of, a lot of stuff doesn't get stuck in there. A few weeks ago, I was here in F7. F7, probably my favorite Markaz in all of Pakistan. I constantly find myself here almost every single day, whether it's for food, friends, beard trims, I'm always, always back in F7. Well, I was at my favorite juice bar, and uh, there was a woman, she goes, you're the guy from TikTok. Well, yeah, that's me. And uh, we, 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 we sat down, we had a juice, and she told me there's a restaurant she's got to take me to uh, because it's got some real American flavor, uh, if you dig what I'm saying. So we're going to a place called Man Discovers Smoke, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my first bite of real authentic Pakistani American barbecue. Assalamu alaikum, I'm good, how are you? Oh, what is that? This is chicken. Chicken. Uh, I'm eating for eating time. For eating time, is it like a karai or just regular yeah, it's chicken? Yes, my home, you yeah. like. I'm uh, delivered to my home. Delivered to your home? Yeah. That looks, that looks here, tasty. It's my like, shop here. Uh, what are you selling at the shop? Yeah, I am for uh, like something skins and something animals course. Oh, oh I saw those. Those yes, are pretty it's cool. Mine. It's mine. Very nice. Yes. You had like, uh, do, you, do, you have a, do you have a yak? A yak jacket? Yeah, no, I had the Markor and Pakistan. The Markor? Yes, oh. Pakistani intelligence. Is that, an, is that an endangered animal here? Yeah, it's an endangered animal. So, but, uh, How I can you sell that? Yeah. Is that illegal? No, is that, no problem. There's no problem. Okay. It's Pakistan. No. It's Pakistan, no problem. <laughs> I, I, I need a shirt that says that. So, are you waiting for me? Oh. Come with, with me eating? I really appreciate that, but I actually have to go meet a friend and have dinner right now. Well, well I guess we're like having lunch because it's anything, four. Anything, coffee and tea? No, thank you, my thank friend. You. Yes, thank you guys. it was. Uh, Abkanam kya hai? Uh, Mohammed Ishwag. Nice to meet you, my friend. Thank you so much. Take care. Again, uh, Assalamu alaikum. As How's it going? How are you? Good, good. How are you? you want to take picture with you? Of course. Abkanam kya hai? What's your name? Um, Mansur. Mansur, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I would love to take a picture. Hi, mom and dad. Where are you guys from? Uh, Afghanistan. Afghanistan, oh, I can't wait to visit. I'm gonna try, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm gonna try to go to Afghanistan in uh, a couple months here. <laughs> so nice meeting you. Take care, thank you, uh, thank, thank you for saying hello and for the picture. Yes. Allah Fiz. And here's my favorite coffee shop. Coffee mystery, assalamu alaikum, how are you buddy? Uh, this, this, this place, it's serving up such, such good coffee. Okay, and we are just a few steps away. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, Queen Art and Crafts. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm sorry, I, j I don't have time. I have to meet a friend. But thank you, though. All right, we're gonna go uh, up here in the Union Gold Mall and hop this elevator thing. And uh, right, come on up. Let's see what we got here. Man, artesian vapor, no. Man discovers smoke. We don't know what floor it's on though. Assalamu alaikum. Multiple floors in this Markaz. Is it, oh, a guitar shop. Let's see if it's on the second floor. Vapes Direct, no thank you. 
Pakistan. The only thing they got more than burger shops is vape stores. Vape 360 in the vape lab? Are you kidding me? How do you have three vape shops right now? Four! Elite Vape, Vape 360, the Vape Lab, and, and Vapes Direct. That's, and, and what? A f artesian vapor across the street, across the hall? You gotta be kidding me. This, this is like the vape mall. How does, it, how does that even make sense from a business standpoint? You've got five different <laughs> stores all essentially selling the same thing on the same floor in a tiny little mall. Bizarre. Okay, we have discovered, man, discovers smoke. Here it is. Pit Smokehouse, Texas Barbecue, Brisket, Rib, Smoked Chicken, <laughs> hashtag not a, oh, Doctor? Hey! Hey! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Thanks, so good uh, to see you here. Thanks so much for inviting me. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm so glad you could join us. On the way here, join us. Who else is coming? Oh, are, okay, are there, are there like more friends? Here. <laughs> Join me. <laughs> On the way here, I was telling everybody that uh, how we met in yeah. Green Bay Jew. I didn't say Green Bay, but Green Bay, my favorite juice bar. Um, you recognized me from TikTok. And so, doctor, you said that I need to, uh, you think that I'm missing, because I've been in Pakistan for like 88 days now, you said that I'm, I'm missing a taste of home. Yeah. And you really like this place, which is known oh, for barbecue, American style barbecue. Exactly. We're, we're gonna go in and, and meet the staff and check it out in just a second. So what, what are we gonna what are we gonna eat today? Oh definitely I have to try the brisket here. I mean Ooh, it's, okay. it's so good. Like I don't think anywhere in Pakistan you can find something like that. And uh, well they've got some ribs and chicken and everything and um, they say that the recipe they got it from Texas so okay. that'll be the true test of the <laughs> taste so I hope you like it. All right, so we've been uh, invited in uh, to see how they're going to uh, make the food here. What, they, what they've told me is authentic Texas uh, barbecue. What's your name? My name is Salmada. And you're the manager here? Yeah. Oh, very nice to meet you, my friend. It, it, it smells incredible in here. It's an, an intoxicating smell. It does feel like I'm back home, uh, back in the States. Uh, please, please take me along. Let's go, uh, let's go explore. Come with me. Take me on this uh, smoky scavenger well, you know, This is the first uh, Texas barbecue restaurant in Pakistan. The first? Yeah, this is the first wow. Texas restaurant in Pakistan. And then we've got all this this wood right yeah, above us here. Whoa, oh, look yeah. at that. This all is of it. wrapped biscuit and wrapped uh, bacon in the tin chicken foil. And wrapped uh, ribs. This is so we're, we're, this we're, we're approximately for eight to nine hours. Eight to nine hours? Yeah. That's a lot of time. Just, when we're going in the behind the scenes kitchen tour. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Oh, okay. Classic Pakistan oil getting ready to fry. Oh, we got another, another smoker back yeah, here. Another smoker. Smoker too. We have a uh, large order, then uh, we fire this. Ah, okay. So this is only for the large orders. The, the takeaway. <laughs> all right, creeping back through here. Oh, all right. Open yeah. this. Uh, look, can, can we see it rip? Wow. See the smoke. Man. There's a lot of this meat in a, there. This is a rip. See it pouring off there. Yeah. Nice. Doctor here, what's your favorite cut of meat? Oh, uh, a flat cut, definitely. Flat cut? Yeah, I choice. mean, like, people always say that point cut is more delicious, but, you know, I'm a flat cut person. <laughs> and, and you've been all over the world, so you've, you've had different types of meats and good steaks and Well, bad, yeah, bad definitely, steaks. but I mean, like, if you come to Pakistan, you have to try the brisket here, and man, this cup of smoke, it's absolutely oh, amazing. That, like, you get the real authentic American That sounded taste. like an ad. This is not an ad. You, you <laughs> said it like a commercial. I swear, this is not a commercial, people. You, no wonder you like the restaurant. Do you, do you work here and you're just not telling me? No, it, I'm not. Is, is this I mean, a like, secret? I'm being, I'm being truthful. <laughs> I mean, like, food here is really, like, you'll, you'll see the taste and you'll get it, yeah. Oh, I'm so stoked. So, uh, doctor, before we head on in, while we wait, wait for the food, just want to real quick tell everybody like about yourself like what you're a doctor of Pe people want to know you're, you're, you're wearing so much lavish gold today I'm, I'm re <laughs> really really digging the aesthetic I, I'm into jewelry so yeah thank you uh, well I am the founder of National Autism Resource Center in Pakistan oh. it's the first autism center which works through telemedicine and I help to connect uh, the parents who have a child or someone they know with autism with uh, the resources and I'm doing it all for free. Um, it's a non-for-profit organization and I help them to connect not only with the experts in Pakistan but also across the globe. Wow, <laughs> S be be beyond impressed. I, I, I knew that you were doing some sort of work in autism. I didn't know it was the first like telemedicine one. Yeah. Very, very cool. Thanks. What is the situation with autism here in Pakistan? Uh, well, in Pakistan, unfortunately, the situation is not really good. Um, I spoke about this a couple of times in different platforms. 
the thing is that there is not even a proper organization to do a consensus or to know the exact prevalence, but there's an estimate around 4 million people affected here. But sadly, like, uh, there are not many resources available here. Uh, but on the bright side, um, next year, the country is going to launch its first ever uh, national level autism center in Islamabad. Oh, no way. So, yeah, so that's awesome. We've been invited in because the, the food is ready. Here's, a fir here's our first look at the platter. We got some french fries. I'm not even gonna weigh it, I didn't eat anything all day. That's a good french fry, that's a good french fry. Dr. Hira? What else we got here? Oh, we got some classic pickles. Coleslaw, I haven't seen much coleslaw, some buns. Oh, look at my man here. Is now, is that the brisket you're cutting? Yes, brisket, oh. this is brisket. Wow. Look at those precision thin cuts. Oh, the smell coming off of it. Straight out of straight out of Texas. That that's the smell we're getting right now, baby. And over here we've got a little little chicken chicken thigh. Yeah, chicken, thigh. chicken. Oh, wow. And it looks like there's there's been some seasonings that have been put on top of the uh, of the brisket and of the chicken as well. Man, look at that knife. It's the it's the biggest knife I've seen in Pakistan yet. One one more fry, please. And we got our mix of sauces here. Ooh, this is this is a beautiful plate. Loving the presentation. And and, and Doctor Hira, you've got some tragic news to share with us because you've got a little bit of an upset tummy. Is that the deal? Oh yes, I won't be able to eat anything from this. So yeah. you, you invited me somewhere where well, only I can eat. I appreciate that. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll eat enough for both of us. I promise you. <laughs> you can live vicariously please, through please me. Do, that's the deal. Well, we, we hope you feel well, feel faster. Brisket, you know, this that. is a brisket and this is a smoke rings. Yeah, the, the pink the pink rings are called smoke rings. Gotcha. Smoke rings. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Smoke rings. Oh, and there's the ribos. Wow. Look at those dinosaur bones right there. Oh, and he's hitting it with the Kansas Kansas sauce. Yeah, this is a Kansas it, right? sauce. Wow. Basting it on there. Doctor, can you describe what we're smelling? I know I know you can't describe the taste, but can you describe it? It smells ravishing, really. Ravi I'm feeling famished, to be honest, even though I can't eat. I love the word. I think that's the first time we've said the word ravishing on, on the on the program. Wow, look how tender that is in the middle there. I feel like these ribs are going to be, everything is going to be like so juicy. Ooh, my mouth wow. is watering already. Oh, look at that squeeze. That's a nice, nice piece of beef. Where does it, where does all the meat come from? What part of Pakistan? This is a local beef. Uh, local beef, okay. Yeah, it's a local meat, which is from, uh, from the G6. From G6, yeah, okay. from G6. Oh. This comes straight from uh, gorgeous stuff. Hi, y'all! Look at this thing, amazing. Well, we got some. Called, oh. What's that? We're sprinkling. This is the broth of uh, this uh, meat. Oh, the meat broth on top to give it that yeah. extra extra juice. Yeah. For extra wow. juice. A sauce. A sauce. That is what we call it. Okay. Boy, yeah, this looks this looks insane. That's the, the full oh, wow, smoke so selection. Wow, shooking in my friend. So again, just a breakdown. We got the fries, we got the brisket, we got the ribs, we got the chicken, we got the saucy bossies. We're not sure what those are, but we're gonna taste test them to find out. And we got the coleslaw. That looks super thick, super, super creamy. All right, what should I try first? Dig in, everything's What should I take a first bite of though? <laughs> okay, I would say start with the brisket. Done, okay. done. Dr. Hira had a very important call. She'll be back in a second, but she told me I gotta try the brisket first. So I'm gonna go ahead. No sauce, all killer, no filler. There it is, ooh, that broth, drip, drop, drip, and right off. And this was the smoke ring piece, he said, from the middle, pow. Oh, well, come on. It's dissolving in my mouth. It's supremely tender. I'm blown away. I did not expect that at all. I did not expect how tender that was. I've had some chewy brisket in my life, this stuff is wow. This this is this is what do you even call this? Like ghost brisket. I took a bite and just like poof, melt. It's a cliche, melted in your mouth, but it's so so good. You sure you can't have a bite, doctor? You sure? Oh, I wish I could. Ah, it smells we, so tasty. We, we, we don't we don't we don't we don't want to disrupt the stomach or anything. Yeah. First impressions. I just shared. I was really okay. impressed by how really? okay. tender it was. Like 
matches the Texas taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Okay. And the broth Good. gives it a really nice, like, salty savoriness to it. You can definitely taste, like, the smoke element as well. It's all right. But overall, just, like, blown away by, by how tender it is. Doctors, always, always busy, you know? Okay, why don't we go in and let's take one of the end pieces of the brisket and let's dip it into, let's go ahead and dip it into what I think is going to be a honey mustard. My spider sense tells me it's honey mustard. Pow. Mmm. Tangy. A little honey-ish. Yeah, kind of like a very, very mild, mild honey mustard. But the end piece, the brisket again, just like insanely tender, y'all. I would definitely come back here again. We haven't got through the rest of the, we haven't got through any of the plate, and I'm already, already seeing it come back again. Okay, I think this is the traditional BBQ. Get a nice big, big glob on there. Mm-hmm. Proper barbecue sauce. It's really thick. It's got this like, ooh, a little spiciness. A tingly tanginess to it. I really, really dig that. And then we're gonna take another big uh, end piece. Welcome back, we missed Thank you. you. Oh, look at that meat, it's still right inside. So yeah, that, that um, rib. What sauce is that, ranch? I'm not sure, so we had we had a honey mustard, we had traditional spicy barbecue, and we're gonna see what this one's about. There's a test for a food connoisseur. I think, I, th I think yeah, I, th I think ranch on ribs would be a crime, actually. But let's see, pow. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Also very tangy. Okay. What is that even? It's, it's good. Cream. It's creamy. It's tangy. Let's uh, let's let's give it the real palate test. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna dip the fries in there. I don't know what it is, but it's good. It does kind of remind me of Chipotle. Right. But since you said it, I think it like put that idea in my head okay. that, that it well, is Chipotle. Okay. What about the? That's nice. All right. We just had two cocktails drop in. Non-alcoholic, of course, because this is Pakistan and Mocktails. alcohol is haram. Yes. Haram. It's haram. Don't 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 drink it, guys. Don't drink it, guys. Uh, so the doctor can't eat a lot of meat or a lot of food, but she can try these drinks. I'm actually allergic to apples. Yeah, so okay. so this this might just terminate me if I try a drink of that. So let's see what the doctor thinks happening. of the. Uh, what did he call it? Apple champagne? Yeah, they said this is the Arabic apple champagne. Arabic champagne, yeah, okay. And um, non-alcoholic, so let's give it a try. Oh, it's really good actually, yeah. It looks like there's a mix of like limes and apples in there, eh? Yeah, lime, apple, and they've got some mint, which is giving it a little Ooh. refreshing taste, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do Pakistanis love the mint margarita so much? I see it everywhere. That's like the most popular yeah, drink here. It's like hot in here, so mint is refreshing, you know. Uh, but sure. The kind of food we eat, you know, mint has a property to help promote digestion. Yeah. So the kind of food we eat, we definitely need. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was the digestion, digestion part of it. Okay, right. that, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay. That people love the mint margaritas. And now this is the strawberry margarita. Uh, strawberry mint margarita. Cranberry. Cranberry, cranberry mint margarita, yeah. We haven't had much cranberry here. Mm -hmm. Quite nice, very smooth. A lot of sugar. I can see how that would complement the meat. It's got this really nice, um, like, robust mint? fruit flavor to it. Is there mint? The tiniest, tiniest bit of mint. I gotta save room for the food, otherwise, I would drink. Do you wanna try? Okay. okay. <laughs> Come on, who trips like that? You have to live. Hold on, hold on. We're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> okay, before we try the ribs, we gotta go with the palate cleanser, the pickled yeah. cucumber pow. Oh wow. Very sweet. Very similar to Texas pickles. Nice, nice and sweet. Can you eat the pickles? I'll give it a try. You should give the pickle a try, a okay. Bite. They're nice, they're real thick. Okay. These are these are super addicting actually. Oh wow. It's not really sour. It's like, yeah, it's got a little sweetness to it. It's really yeah, I don't, I don't know if the brine they used had some sugar in there, but mm -hmm. it's really, really nice. Okay, dinosaur, beef, rib, thyme. Look at that, look at that redness in the middle oh, there. Wow. So, so rare. <laughs> you were gonna judge me because you thought I was gonna, like, yeah, gonna peel it off. Was, Pow! Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, super tender. Probably. The smoke flavor, it's serious, it's kicking, it's legit. Really, really tender. I don't know. Oh, oh just look at that. Slides out the yeah. bone. I think I got chills from from that. That was a that was a sensual moment, actually. Wow, cooked to perfection. The restaurant said they've been here two years. The food tastes like it. These guys are some absolute experts. Really juicy. I can't. Uh, 
I'm losing my mind here. It really feels like I'm, I'm back in Texas. Okay, we like the pickles, we like the ribs, we like the briskets. Now, brisket, excuse me. Now we gotta try Wait the coleslaw. Second. Forks are flying out of my hand. And uh, Dr. Hira is our, is our camera person today. This thing looks mega creamy. Pow. Mm -hmm. Wow. The coleslaw is swimming in that dressing. It's nice and thick. It's not too watery. It's sweet. The coleslaw and the cabbage in there, really crispy. I really, really dig that. Nicely done, man, Discover Smoke to start. All right, and we're gonna finish it off, I think this is our last bite, with some of this smoked chicken. Wow, again, falling off the bone. Woo! And we can see that skin right there, like all those different seasonings and those rubs that have been ingrained in it. And we're gonna wrap up this nice little piece of chicken, pal. I think that might be my favorite bite. Like, I'm a chicken guy at heart. Like, I love brisket and I love ribs, but I wish y'all could taste the seasoning that's on this chicken. It's smoky, it's peppery, it's savory. It's world class. It's out of this world chicken. It's, 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 I don't even, there's only so many ways you can describe chicken, but this is perfectly done. So tender fall off the bone, whatever like secret Texas seasoning blend they're using on the outside, unreal. And that's that. Very, very impressed by Man Discover Smoke. I, uh, I, I, I had my hesitations, y'all. I'm not gonna front Texas American barbecue. It's hard to recreate, but they did a really, really nice job. Major shout out to the staff. They were super friendly and everything. I think my favorite bite was the chicken though. I like, I like red meat, but the, uh, the seasoning that was used on the chicken, they said it was the same seasoning that was used on the ribs and on the brisket too, but just the way the chicken absorbed that flavor, mega, mega nice. Hey everybody say goodbye to Dr. Hira. Thanks so much uh, Thank for, for, for making the video uh, glow a little bit more <laughs> and uh, for recommending this place. This was uh, a solid recommendation. It's all a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Brent Tim from Man Discovers Smoke and we're saying ciao for now.